أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful I seek refuge from shaitan the accursed Good afternoon my respected elders brothers and sisters in nation our great men and women living and dead ladies and gentlemen Very soon all of us will be running around the country offering our plans to run the country and making great speeches. All of us will sing those qualities we believe make us unique, uniquely qualified to lead the country. But too many times after elections is over, all those promises fade from memory and the lobbyists and the special interests move in and people turn away, disappointed as before, left back to go back to their struggles. Every one of us talks about eliminating violence, hunger, disease, homelessness, and pollution. All of us want the future generation to inherit a peaceful and prosperous and healthy nation. The job to be done is clear enough, but we are hopelessly divided on how to do the job. Political parties vie for votes across the country, making promises they cannot keep. Many thoughtful people like myself are alarmed about the general schism in our societies which is becoming ever more destructive. Meanwhile, as politicians shout and abuse at each other, the decibel levels rise. The social problems they are arguing about continue to worsen. Crime and corruption run wild. The healthcare system completely ruined. Unemployment festers and pollution darkens the sky. The vast middle on shore what to believe and not very hopeful leans one way or the other every few years thinking that new, maybe this time things will be different the, but the politicians seem more focused on getting and keeping power than facing the tough challenges society is going through in most cases the primary objective is to create an image that sells well in the marketplace even though it's superficial and lacking in substance in order to get votes So the ideologies they use to whip up passion comes across as cynical. Of course, people enter into politics with a true desire to make a difference, and they do much good, but too many make an art of demonizing their opponents in order to stay on top. Anybody can see the tricks they use to reduce complicated issues to simple-minded us versus them sound bites. The key to a healthy nation is to align the social will the value system and the principles of togetherness i therefore call you to join me in this quest if you feel that god almighty has placed the future of this blessed nation in our hands and see as i see a future of endless possibilities stretching before us if you sense as i sense the time is now for us to rise and stand place our feet firm on the ground fearlessly and make good the debt we owe past and future generations then i am ready to take up the pair march with you and walk with you i am much more interested in the real job to be done to discover true bringing people together on innovations that will actually help cure the ills we confront as a nation to smooth difficulties relieve stress correct mistakes take up other men's burden by efforts we make possible the peaceful life of men in a peaceful country I recognize there is a certain audacity to this announcement and I know I haven't spent a long time in the politics of this country but I have been here long enough to know that my country deserves a better governance that is why I stand here before you today to announce my candidacy for president of the Republic of the Gambia for the Gambia our home